Maisie's a nervous, uh, nervous little dog. Um, she has a little bit of low confidence, low self-esteem, but we're going to walk with her. I'm going to, uh, with this walk, I'm going to walk, you know, nice and calm and slow. Um, let's go. We're going to walk by this human, see how she does. Come on. Because she's a nervous little dog. Come on. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. There you go. Let's go. Sit. Good job. Good job. Good girl. Let's go. Come on. And also what you want to do is you want to add some sits. Maisie, sit. Right. Now I'm going to walk away a little bit. Get some eye contact. Let's go. Okay. Remember, just work on that eye contact so she knows that you're kind of giving her direction. Maisie, come. Come. There you go. Let's go. And this is all you need to do when you start walking a dog that's maybe pulling or overly excited about things. Maisie, come. The mistake people make is they, they put a leash on a dog and then they take them for a really long walk and the dog's pulling and barking and whining, uh, you know, for a two mile walk. And then you immediately start regretting having to take her for a walk, you know, like, oh, I got to take my dog for a walk. You want to enjoy your walk. So I suggest just walk just back and forth in front of your house, maybe a couple houses down, turn, come back. Maybe come until she's really good or he at following you, right? And also you want to stop sometimes. Maybe sit and have what's called a sit, sit stay. So I'm not gonna use the word stay, but I'm gonna use the word sit, right? She can't get up till I tell her, let's go again. And I wanna, I wanna I'm trying to get eye contact with her. And what I can do is step in, let's go. See how she looked up at me when I gave her, gave her a little pressure. So now she's walking good, right? Maisie, come on, let's go, all right? Maisie, uh -uh. come here, sit, sit, good job, let's go, come on, there you go, good girl, let's go. So anything you do with a dog, your dog, is just number one, repetition. So if she's having trouble with something like maybe walking or you know, being nervous or, or excited around dogs. Just practice back and forth, back and forth, repetition, repetition. So she figures it out and she gets way better at it. And then you can add some, some bigger challenges, you know, and just keep going up. You don't want to add a huge challenge because you, you want her to finish an exercise on a good note and you want her to, you know, you don't want her to fail. You want to set her up for success. So this is all we need to do today. She walked good with me. She, she gave me some good eye contact um, and that's it. So I would say just keep it up, repetition and also follow through. So we'll talk about that later. So I'll leave the link to this uh, slip lead. Some of the best slip leads up, up down in the description, up in the description, wherever the description is. And I'll put a link on there because I believe if you talk about a tool, you should leave a link for it so people can find it and buy it. So that's it. That's a little walking with Maisie, and that's a wrap.